<laughs> I think you're feeding them. You usually give them a little bit so they don't follow us. Got a bad case of the strep throat. Had to go see a doctor for it. And I used to get strep throat quite a bit back in the Marine Corps. I was getting it so much they said if I got it one more time while I was in there, we're gonna take my tonsils out. And if you guys have never had strep throat, it's the real deal. I think I'd rather have the flu. But what's crazy is Hope had it probably two weeks ago. Um, and we never took her in because we thought it was just like a, a virus. And she fought it off. She, um, she, she fought it off without any antibiotics. Well, then Hayden came down with it. like a, And um, we got her, to end up taking her to the doctor about second or third day. Her throat was really hurting her. And uh, she's on, on antibiotics. And then the, that following day after she got antibiotics, I was, that morning I woke up, I was like, yep, I got strep throat too. No, we won't go up there. Okay. My energy level is down, but I got to get up and do something. And I want to make a video for you guys, giving you an update what we got going on. We got the youth rifle season coming up this weekend. Friday? Mm-hmm. And I've been down and out for the last three days. And I haven't got to go out there and do what I've been needing to do. But uh, we're going to go low on energy today, too. Sorry about that. Um, but to, I'm hoping tomorrow... I'll have the energy to go out there and finish up the little bit of stuff I need to do before the camp. Um, I'll be on I'll be on my medication for three days, and they said I should start feeling a lot better the third day on them. So we'll see. Hope the, well, the trap set off. Yeah, tell them, tell them what happened. Was it yesterday morning? Yeah, yesterday when taking us to school. When he was taking us to school. Look at the camera. Okay, when he was taking us to school, he saw the bobcat right there by the right trap. Right there by the trap. Something set the trap off and the bobcat was right next to it. So I don't know if it got in there and somehow backed out before it slammed on it. Um, but I actually got out and uh, was going to take a shot at it, but it ran through the woods. And um, we're just now getting back over here to reset it. I'm telling you, that thing is just coming around all the time. It right yep, it was right here. It ran, it ran through the old hole. It did, didn't it? It ran right through there. Are the, are the oysters still in there? No. Okay. Hold this for a second. Okay. We'll reset it. There's no telling. It may have bumped it or, or something. So we got it reset. I know we're gonna we're gonna catch this thing. I'm either gonna we're either gonna catch it or I'm gonna, gonna shoot it. I'm gonna start carrying my 22 around with me. Uh, that way, yeah, I'll have a better shot at it I than with like, my nine millimeter. I feel like a squirrel set that off. A squirrel could have for sure. But yeah, so if you guys would be thinking of Hayden's Hayden's doing better now um, I think her throat's hurting just a little bit but she's able to go to school today and this is the first day in I think three days I've been able to get out and actually walk around and do something and I told Hope I said let's go film a video let's go um, go out to the woods and uh, let's clear the shooting lane because we've had the bucks have been coming in like crazy and this morning on camera that sends it to my phone we actually got a picture of a big buck behind the house. And also some little ones. And some little ones, it. yeah. But in daytime, this is the first time they've actually came in in the mid-morning, like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Um, so we could have got one this morning if we were hunting, but we weren't at school and stuff. I the turkey scrape. You did? Yes. Um, but where the scrape's at, we can't see it through um, the blind itself. So we're going to walk out there before the deer start moving in. And we're going to cut some uh, shooting lanes. Um, so we can get a shot if need to be, if need be, on the, uh, the scrape. So I got a feeling they're hit, they're really hitting the scrape pretty hard. So let's walk out there and, uh, do that. I hear a turkey over there coming. Where at? Right there. Okay. But yeah, so hopefully I can get out there tomorrow and I'll film what I'm doing out there tomorrow for you guys. And they keep you guys updated on, on the camp and all that. So we got some, uh, a fun weekend aligned um, i'm just kind of glad that if i was gonna get sick i got sick when i did because i should be on the up end of it come camp and 
they said after 48, 48 hours of being on antibiotics, you're not contag contagious to anyone, so that's good. What? I first got sick, then Hayden, then you now this mom and had the... I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. I told Brandy, I said, if you wake up with a sore throat at all, go in and get you some antibiotics because it's no fun. I don't know if she's ever had strep throat. That's what I said. I think I'd rather have the flu than strep throat. I think I did when I was sick, but I didn't get medicine. Yeah, you toughed it out, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, let's walk out here. I'm actually going to get um, the SD card out of here. And if I got any footage of the big buck that came in this morning, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, well, I checked my camera. You ain't out here yet. Scraping it up. All right, there's three of them now. Look, they're scraping all around this tree. One, two, three, one big scrape. Different bucks. Well, they're probably all hitting them. I'm wearing all purple today. See? Yep. So you can see we got all this brush here, and it's right in line with the scrapes. from the trees? That's where I cut where I knocked them down. Oh. You 
if you knock down that big one, no. it'll, it yeah, it'll fall down on the other side. Are you going to change the SD card out? Yeah. Remember how? Yeah. Which way? But however way you take it out, put that one in. See? I'm going to go change the SD card. And then we can, we can show you guys the pictures on the other SD card where the bucks are. Let's see. Maybe this one right there. Get in the blind and see if you can see over there. Okay. You don't really have to have a shot, you just won't be able to see. Yeah. Because the bucks won't move. I can't see, but there's trees in the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can see. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We can see over here. We don't have a clear shot, but that's okay. We just couldn't see anything. We, if we could yeah, hear stuff over there, we just couldn't see. And then I'll move to the yeah, so everything's looking good out here. We're gonna get out of here before we put too much scent down. Let's go back up to the house. They're everywhere. Uh, okay, well, just that little bit has got me wore out. That's what's crazy about when you're sick and you think you could do stuff. You get up and try to do stuff. I was breaking out in the sweat and everything else. It's nuts, guys. Yeah, so if you've never had strep throw, it is no fun. It sets you back too. Um, so not only has it set me back at the at the creek property, getting things ready for the deer camp, it set me back here on the siding too. We've been putting the um, strips of batten on the board. It's starting to look really nice. I'll give you guys an update once we get more of it done. I'm um, doing trim around the windows and stuff like that, but I've been able to do nothing for the last like three days, I guess. And um, just that little bit right there has already got me tired. I had a fever for two days, I think. I think it was two straight days. I had to run a fever, not sleeping at all. Up every single hour. Last night, I couldn't sleep. My throat was just killing me. If you guys got any home remedies, um, I think trying honey is supposed to soothe your throat. I have I have found out that ibuprofen actually has helped my throat some. And you guys can tell I'm just I just don't have any energy. But I want to I want to get a video out for you guys, just give you an update what's going on um, with us because after this video, I don't know when I'm going to have another one out for a few days or not. Okay, I think I need to go in there and rest. <laughs> it's crazy. Even that even just this little bit being out here has already worn me down. So that's telling me tomorrow might be a rough day, but I have to get stuff done. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated for sure on this. That's crazy. So you guys know we've been preparing for the youth rifle hunt coming up this uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, I think Hope is actually get to, get to go Friday morning. And then Hayden, since she, Hayden missed the day of school um, this week, she's gonna go after school Friday. And then so we, you guys will see us um, hunting with the girls and then we're going to have 
five other families out there uh four youtubers youtube families one from our church and then another family from our church is bringing a couple of his boys out there so it's gonna be fun um we're all gonna be recording it for you guys and just documenting those memories um you guys know all the people that are gonna be there except for the one family um from church uh but it's gonna be fun um i'm just glad by then i should be feeling way way better i better be because i, I plan on dragging some deer out and skinning some deer and doing all that during the during this uh weekend and uh just be praying if you guys are praying people pray for uh me and hayden and the rest of the family pray that brandy and Hathley don't get sick um th strep throat when it gets in your house it usually goes full circle before it leaves if that makes sense usually everyone gets it it's pretty contagious and um like I told you guys earlier in the video, the doctors told uh, the doctor said, once you've been on antibiotics for 48 hours, it's not contagious anymore. So don't think I'm gonna be getting the whole camp sick. And um, I don't think we're actually gonna be staying the night out there. Some other families that are gonna be traveling from far distance, we only live like 15 minutes from there, but they're gonna be staying at the campsite. And um, I plan on tomorrow filming a video out there for you guys, uh, preparing some things, getting things ready. Um, one of my friends that's gonna be there, fellow youtuber you guys will see uh, hopefully in the next video uh, that i get out he's gonna help me set up his blind and some other things tomorrow um so i'm gonna have some help getting things ready over the next couple days and um, that's gonna help that's gonna be pretty handy uh but yeah so like i said earlier i just want to get a video out for you guys and give you guys an update i was talking to my uncle earlier this morning and uh, he asked hey what well, you been up to i haven't talked to you a while so i've been sick he goes well you don't ever tell us you're sick well i don't ever really get sick like i haven't got this i haven't been this sick since 2020 and um i don't ever really get sick he goes well we want to know when you're sick <laughs> well call me but he goes he said that you we need to tell your subscribers that care about you and watch you that when you ain't feeling good that way they could pray for you do all that and so i was like you know what he's right i need to i need to make a video and, and share with you guys what we're how i'm feeling and um yeah so that's what this was today showing telling you guys how i'm feeling I think I'm going to be getting better over the next few days. And um, so I'm going to go in there. I'm going to get some rest and uh, get rest up for tomorrow's journey at the creek property. Love you guys. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.